we're going to look at the new in command 1200 display. Planting some corn with this here right now, and we're going to look at the downforce system. Uh, this is just a two channel setup right now, and you can see how much downforce we're applying in this particular area of the field. Quite a bit of downforce. Now, I know guys that uh, run an airbag system or and say, well, I can adjust the air from the cab, you know, a static system. Well, do you know what you really need to be adjusting? Do you know how much you need to have down? Normally, without having to get out and take a look at that sidewall compaction, it's, it's hard to tell. And you can see how it's being changed around here. see a lot of difference I guess because uh, I do have a box planter as far as uh, my two channels are concerned the wings versus the center section uh, it does put out a little bit more from time to time and we'll see an example here and what's going down now this is some harder ground uh, hilltop area and we're moving down to a, a lower line area to have the split screen like this so you can watch watch what's going on on both sides. And now we're crossing into that lower line area as we speak here. Right before it gets into it, there's pretty hard ground right there in that area so we gotta cut through and now we're into some soft line area and you can see how how much that downforce actually drops back because of this we were at 500 pounds and now we're at down to 80 and it, it didn't take very long to do that either even with active air systems it would take a lot longer you'd be planting it much deeper in that soft ground than what needed to be done not only that you'd be affecting the sidewall compaction reference to the ground that I'm in right now. It's soft, it was worked last fall because it was drowned out the area. I do have floating uh, trash hookers there and a cutting halter is that as well. And you can see the gauge wheel up on the graph there. ISO down for a setup, uh, we'll be able to run up to eight sections. So on a 60 row planter, you could have eight sections if you want and run every two rows independently of every other one. I have seen a benefit by using a hydraulic down for system, much better seed emergence.
you look at the reference of what is coming up ahead, the ground, it has not been worked. It's soybean stubble, so I, there's not a lot of trash on it either. Nice black looking dirt, dirt as well. Now we'll watch this as we switch over. gauge wheels change their, uh, their pounds and how quickly the downforce system has rebound to get us up to that area where we want to be. And you can see what it's looking like here then too. check different spots of the field and what we need for uh, down pressure we'd be checking in all sorts of different areas across the field and right there you can see the benefits of using a hydraulic down for a system by ag leader the algorithms are all built in very simple to operate you get few different uh, selection choices here gauge wheel load and what you want minimum light medium heavy and max the grounds really hard I've, I've used it on max before normally medium will do a good job the default on a year like this I'm using the medium setting last year was much drier and I was doing the heavy and max on Hope this is well educational to people for checking this out. Thank you for watching.